Okay, Mr. President. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm on it. I will let them know. Don't worry, you can count on me. Thank you, Mr. President. Oh, oh yuck. It's, a, it's Einstein. I didn't know he was a librarian. The what? The pussy forms so hard. <laughs> Dumbass. See if you've got any bogeys and then flick them at him. <laughs> like a turd that just won't flush. <laughs> what? What? Right, everyone, pay attention. This is no joke, no joke. The president of the world just phoned and he said, he said that you have to subscribe and you have to like, or there's a meteor coming towards Earth and it's the only way to stop it. It's the only way to stop it if you if you subscribe to this channel and you like this video. It's the only way. If you don't do it, we're all going to die. So you better. And if you don't do it, then that's it. We're all dead. And I will have to phone Mr. President and tell him that you, you, were the one that made us all die. I'm not laughing, it's not funny, it's not a joke. You have the time that this video starts, when the movie starts, and if you don't subscribe and like by then, then the meteor hits Earth and that's us all gone forever. It doesn't even matter if you don't like the video because uh, you just have to, because it's life or death. It's life or death. But you will like it because it's Indiana Jones and Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. It's not the Last Crusade. It's lying. I know there's more. There's more crusades. I need to make it my mission to watch the sequels to every movie that I am watching because I leave it so long and then I forget what happened in the first one and then I get confused. And we all know that happens easily so I need to watch them pretty close together which is why we're doing Indiana Jones pretty close together. And there's a lot of stuff that I don't understand because I've never been a religious person and the only stuff we were taught at school was like, you know, the Easter stuff, the Christmas stuff, the things everyone's taught. So it's very interesting to read all you guys' comments about Moses and the commandments and the ark and everything. It doesn't mean I believe in it all, but I don't judge anyone that does believe in it all. Who am I to know? It's still very, very, very interesting stories. Also, we have just added Discord to our Patreon. If that's something that you want to be involved in, then you'll have to head over there because only patrons get to be on my Discord. I still don't really know how to work it, but I'm I'm getting there. I need all your guys' help. I feel like an old lady with technology when it comes to Discord, and I'm like, what? What do I do? I need my grandchild to show me. <laughs> oh, that that's the president phoning back. He's got his phone to check, so I better better answer. Hello, hello, Mr. President. Yes. Let me let me check. Did you did you do it? Did you subscribe? Did you like? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, they did. Yes. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. Whew, whew, whew. We did it, guys. We did it. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Mr. President. Yes, I know it's a serious matter. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. He's very proud of us. Very, very proud of us. We did it. We saved the world. Okay, let's just watch Indiana Jones and the... What was it called again? The Last Crusade. And play. Oh, also, I just realised someone commented saying that the second one was actually took place before the first one, and that's why he was with the blonde girl and not the first girl, because I was so mad. <laughs> so I don't know which time this one takes place. But if it's the last one, then it's the last one. Itchy was. That thing looks like it's a way to fall off and crush everyone. Sean Connery's in this one. Sean Connery wasn't in the others. Was he? Oh, it's um. What are they called? Scouts. Beavers. What are they called? Beaver scouts. I would run <laughs> fast. <laughs> I don't want to be involved with anyone that's laughing like that. I knew that wasn't him. Indy. Indy. That's not Indy. Indiana. Shh. Oh, that's Indy. Ah, the little boy is Indy. 1912. So this bit is before the mall. So have look at their men living in the caves. Have him bring the sheriff. It's only a snake. Oh, he's not scared of snakes. Something must happen. Something with snakes in this one. I would not. They're gonna be in trouble. They're gonna kidnap you. Careful, young Indy. He's got our thing. 
Oh, he got out! He actually got out! Mr. Havelock! Anybody? Everybody's lost but me. <laughs> Everybody's lost but me. <gasps> that was a grown ass man that jumped off of there. Maybe he's going to get kidnapped and then be besties with this man and that's how he becomes that man. Or he joins the circus. I mean, it's her own fault because they left it lying there. And... Oh, look at the giraffes! <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Yeah, they left the cross lying there and they didn't keep their eye on it. Reptiles. Oh, here's the snakes. Oh, it's crocodiles! Oh, yuck! I don't mind snakes, but even that, oh, no way. Oh my god! Poor Indy. No wonder he's traumatised. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's giving me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, 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 jump, jump. Oh, oh. No way out of this. What's in here? What's in it? It's elephants. Elephants? Oh, shit! <laughs> His whip! Wow, this is explaining everything. He just hit himself. Wow. Pass up the whip. He was so close to being legless, Indy. Oops, you're stuck. Out of the box now. He's underneath it. He went right through. How come that didn't open for him? Oh, check some go. He's like, that's my boy. <laughs> dad! Oh, I want to see what his dad looks like. No, Dad, you listen. Junior! One, two, three, four. In Greek. In Greek. <laughs> I brought the sheriff. <laughs> you still got it? Well, yes, yeah, sir. It's right here. No, tell your dad first. I'm glad to see that. He's gonna take it from you. Right for honor of this cross. Won't press charges and give it back. You got witness. Ah. Oh. You lost today, kid. But it doesn't mean you have to like it. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. I loved it. Thirty-eight. So we're now after. We're after the first two. Dr. Jones, too small for two of us. Wait, is that the guy from the beginning? This is the second time I've had to reclaim my property from you. It belongs in a museum. <laughs> Throw him over the side. No. I want to know how he learned, where he learned how to fight. Oh, guys, it's gone. Oh, phew. Oh, hey, that was, that was really quick. That blew up really fast. Lucky for you. Which, was that the guy? Was that the, like, indie, the other indie guy in the white suit? Or was it the white suit guy in the white suit? Does that make sense? <laughs> So forget any ideas you got about Lost City. X never, ever marks the spot. It's so unfair. How is all the girls meant to learn anything in that class? <laughs> or any boys that like boys. I will be in my office if anybody's got any problems for the next hour and a half. <laughs> I would be there. <laughs> for the whole hour and a half. I did it. You got it. I'm still not sure if I trust this guy. Okay. Irene, put everybody's name on a list. 
Oh, they're all waiting to speak to him. Every one of them is turn. You only have an hour and a half. They obviously don't love him that much because if it was me, I would be in there already. I'd be hiding under his desk. <laughs> Checks his office. Wow. Yeah, good idea. Escape from it all. Well, like yourself, Dr. Jones, I have a passion for antiquities. 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 I didn't even know that was a word. It's sandstone. Christian symbol. Early Latin text. Can you translate the inscription? Of course you can. Where the cup that holds the blood of Jesus Christ resides forever. The Holy Grail. The Holy Dr. Grail. Jones. I was just the way you say that. But I was scared I was wrong. <laughs> cup that caught his blood at the crucifixion and was entrusted to Joseph of Arimathea. Don't drink it. The gift of youth to whoever drinks from the grail. <laughs> now that's a bedtime story mm, I'd like. Don't drink it. Have you, have you not learned anything from the last one? This is the manuscript in which the friar chronicled the knight's story. Yeah, but how do you know that just because something's written down that it's true? I could write something down and then someone will find it in a hundred years and think that's true and it's like absolute bullshit. <laughs> We're only one step away. It's usually when the ground falls out from underneath your feet. Yeah, it is. It's where all the booby traps are. Our project leader has vanished, along with all his research. Well, that's your first red flag. I want you to pick up the trail where he left off. Find the man, and you will find the grail. Or he could find the holy grail and not the man. Why don't you try my father? We already have. Your father is the man who's disappeared. <gasps> Whoa. Okay. Now he's definitely going to do it. I didn't know his dad was still alive. Dad! Dear God. Yeah, dear God. Someone's looking for him. Got himself into now. Looking for his research. He's in over his head. He must be a really old man. His dad's grail diary. Every clue he followed. Every oh. discovery he made. So you have an advantage. Do you believe the grail actually exists? Yes. Yes, I do. Call Donovan, Marcus. Tell him I'll take All his lights are on and that fan's running. He's using electricity and he's not even there. Good luck. I'll be very careful. Don't trust anybody. Yeah, I tell you that all the time. Especially the ladies. They're more trouble than they're worth. I have an empty can of Pringles down there. I kept kicking it. I've been there. And there. Dr. Jones? Yes. I knew it was you. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I've never seen him so excited. He was as giddy as a schoolboy. I like her outfit. He was never giddy. It's very nice. Even when he was a schoolboy. She's very, very pretty, so you be careful. I've seen this window before. Where? Your right dad here. drew it. Dad's diary. Uh huh. I think it's the one he was drawing when he told you to count to ten in Greek. Greek. The tomb is somewhere in the library. You said yourself it used to be a church. Wait, that's too easy. Seven, seven, and ten. Now where's the ten? It's been demolished. Look around for the ten. It's not there anymore. Because they converted it into a library. They took it. <laughs> what? Ten. <laughs> X marks the spot. Sure does. This all seems too easy. It's a setup. Oh, you're gonna get into a lot of trouble if you're wrong. It's a, it's Einstein. I didn't know he was a librarian. <laughs> He's like, wow, what was in my coffee? You're a great deal like your father. Except he's lost and I'm not. Lower me down. Where the hell are you going? Is she an archaeologist too? Um, you turn around. And you've got the book. I hope you heard them and threw it down to him. What's this one? The Ark of the Covenant. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all saw it. Why was she looking at him like that? Oh, the water's bubbling. What does that mean? It's petroleum. I should sink a well down here and retire. Huh? It's not water. Why? 
Oh, God, I would be so scared I stood on them. You'd hear them, like, crunch. As much as I don't like them, I, I, don't, I don't want them to be crushed to death. It's this one. How do you know? <gasps> oh, it's going to come back to life and chase you and eat you. Just like your father. You never would have made it past the rats. Is, is that him there? Wait, who, who are you? How many markers was there? Oh my god! Don't wander off. What? What? Where are you going? Um, oh, they're eating our. They're already eating our. I don't think I could do that. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I could. I'm brave. I could do that. <laughs> That's so funny. You're gonna have to go faster. They've caught up with you already. Are you crazy? Don't go between them! Go between them! Are you crazy? Oh, there's enough space. Plenty of space. You should stop halfway and then reverse back. Wait, can boats reverse? Yeah, but really slowly, I think, so that wouldn't work. <laughs> I didn't think that would happen. Let go, not the dog will both die. My soul is prepared. How is yours? Not. Oh, God. They talked you out of it. New friend? The secret of the grail has been safe for a thousand years. The brotherhood of the cruciform sword have been prepared to do anything. The what now? To keep it safe. The what? The pussy form so hard. <laughs> what did he just say? <laughs> I must have misheard. I came to find my father. Your father is being held in the castle of Brunwald on the Austrian-German border. Ah, oh, good man. New friend. He knew everything except where to begin. Now we know. Yes, now we know. I'm going after Dad. Yeah, go get your dad first. You can't do it without him. Oh, has she been kidnapped? Elsie. Elsie. <laughs> Did she do that? Did she make a mess? <laughs> no way. My room. Mine oh, too. she did it. Okay. <laughs> I thought she was just really messy. <laughs> I'm going to continue to do things the way I think they should be done. The way that you normally... Oh. Oh. How dare you kiss me? <laughs> <laughs> She wants to kiss you. And I hate arrogant men. What about the other girl? This is definitely after the first one. But I like this girl better than the second one. Wow. I want a house like that. Looks like Hogwarts. Do you intend to leave us standing on the doorstep all day with the wrench? <laughs> 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 and if you are a Scottish lord, then I am Mickey Mouse. How did he know? How did he know? <laughs> I would have fell for it. Except if you're a Scottish lord, then you're a laird. You're not a lord. Junior? <gasps> it's your yes, dad! Junior! Don't call me that, please. I didn't realise that would be Sean Connery. I should have guessed. That's amazing. Fine. <laughs> That's so cool. I love them two together. Alexandra. Alexandra, of course. Oh. On the pilgrim trail from the Eastern Empire. Junior, you did it. This, this one's the best one already. I knew I had to get that book as far away from me as I possibly could. So you gave it to your son. <laughs> Oh shit. Dr. Jones. Yes? yes. <laughs> Do you think my son would be that stupid that he would bring my diary all the way back here? You didn't, did you? Yes, he did. Can we discuss this later? I should have mailed it to the Marx brother. Will you take it? <laughs> Groucho would have loved it. Junior! 
I told you for this Shoot them all. Look what you did. <laughs> Look what you did. <laughs> I love this. Best movie ever. What? Trust me. Oh, what a bitch. You should have listened to your, your dad. Yeah, you should have. Told you. Don't trust anyone. Especially the pretty ladies. How did you know she was a Nazi? She talks in sleep. Oh, oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Both Both ears. Didn't I warn you not to trust anybody? You sure did. You didn't drag poor Marcus along, did you? Yeah. He speaks a dozen languages, knows every local custom. You'll never see him again. Oh, does anyone here speak English? <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> He's so funny. Mr. Brony! Oh, funny. <laughs> there it is. Marcus Brony, sir! Wait, is this the guy that plays um, Gimli in Lord of the Rings? Oh, yes, of course, but where are we going? Oh, this map will show you. Is it? Is that him? Mr. Brody. Welcome to his... <laughs> Of course! <laughs> Run. Yes. <laughs> Run. Run. Just finish reading it myself. Run. Run. Uh, yes. Yeah. Egyptian mail. Run! Did you say... Uh, uh... Run! <laughs> <laughs> Jump on the camel! Quickly! Don't just stand there! Quick! Quick! Find the back door! Find the back door! Where's he off to? Without the map, I'm afraid it's no better than a souvenir. Let me kill them now. No. Is that guy in Braveheart? Cover the pages from Brody. We'll need them alive. I think he's one of that. He's a he's a English soldier in Braveheart. I think. Why are you not headbutting her? That's how Austrians say goodbye. Yeah, that's hundred percent. This the guy is how from we say Braveheart. goodbye in Germany. Oh. He definitely would have preferred that to a kiss from you anyway. It would blend in, disappear. I'm kidding, I made that up, you know, Marcus, he got lost once in his own museum. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. The floor's on fire. And the chair. <laughs> this is brilliant. We have Marcus Brody. More important. We have the map. Wait, you have Marcus? Germany has declared war on the Jones boys. Did they get Marcus? Sorry. I can't. I can do it. Whoops. Oh, wow. Secrets. <gasps> oh, oh. Um, stay quiet. I can get my hand smaller than my wrist. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. How, how can you miss? They were right there. Yes! Look at that! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh I love Sean Connery. <laughs> I find that if I just sit down and think... Oh! Oh! There you go! <laughs> this one's so bloody funny. Come on, Dad! Come on! What about the boat? We're not going on the boat! Yeah, but they'll think you took the boat. Oh, you should have waited until they went! Dumbass! God damn it! If you just waited a, like a couple seconds more. I love how his dad keeps looking at him like, what the hell is happening? He's going to spear you. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. See, look, that look. That look right there. He's like, I didn't realize my son was such a badass. There's more in the diary than just the map. Three devices of such lethal cunning. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But I found the clues that will safely take us through. Well, what are they? 
You can't remember because they're written down in his book. I wrote them down in my diary so that I wouldn't have to remember. It's a good idea. What about Marcus? Marcus would agree with me. Yeah, he would, to be fair. Oh, bloody hell, I just realised I'm dancing along to the Nazis. That is always, always a good plan and can never go wrong. Why are they burning? Where is it? I want it. She's not going to have it. Back to the book? Wait, she has it. Counted with the enemy of everything that the Grail stands for. Who yeah. gives a damn what you think? Yeah. Do. He doesn't care about you. Don't trust her. Never trust her again. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You're away to come face to face with the man himself. <gasps> oh God, don't, don't, don't. He's going to sign it. <gasps> what did you get? I don't know. First available flight out of Germany. Where to? To go where? A blimp. A blimp. Can you travel in a blimp? You made it. When we're airborne with Germany behind us, then. Yeah, I yeah, I agree, I agree. It's going a bit too smoothly. I didn't I really didn't know that you could travel in a blimp. Guten Tag, Herr Jones. Oh no. Tickets, please. Throw them out the window. Yeah. He's so proud of his boy. No ticket. <laughs> now you can celebrate. How awesome is that? I want to go on a blimp. It's disgraceful. You're old enough to be her, her, her grandfather. Oh, I'm as human as the next man. He was there first. I was the next man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bet there was a few in between. Ships that pass in the night. Yuck. Yuck. Ugh. Was that I was less important to you than people who'd been dead for 500 years, hardly spoken for 20 years. Oh. You left just when you were becoming interesting. Uh, yeah, that <laughs> just when you were becoming interesting. <laughs> we will face three challenges. First, the breath of God. They seem really close as father and son. It's hard to believe they haven't spoke for 20 years. Uh oh, what's way to happen? We're turning around. They're taking us back to Germany. Why though? What are you gonna do? Jump out of it? Oh, there's a little plane attached. How convenient. You're just a little bit screwed. Oh yeah. Eleven o'clock. What happens at eleven o'clock? <laughs> What happens at 11 o'clock? <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Dad, are we hit? That was a fantastic own goal. John, I'm sorry. <laughs> they got us. They got us. No, they didn't. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. This is so funny. <laughs> Oh, you stole his car. Stay what idiot would even do that? That idiot. That's the idiot. They don't come any closer than that. Right, get out and walk. They won't be able to see you if you're walking. <laughs> Brilliant idea. <laughs> what? It worked. Let my armies be the rocks and the trees and the birds in the sky. <laughs> oh. Oh. He loves his dad. Provisions, desert vehicles, and tanks. 
You're welcome. Tanks? You're gonna give them tanks? Oh, that's his friend. That's his new friend. He's been a spy for him now. They set out across the desert this afternoon. I believe they took Mr. Brody with them. I can't tell if that's Gimli or not. Is that him? Care to wet your whistle, Marcus? I'd rather spit in your face. <laughs> Poor Marcus. We're on the brink of the recovery of the greatest artifact in the history of mankind. See if you've got any bogies and then flick them at him. We're well out of range. I think I see you. Oops. That car belongs to my brother in law. Come on! <laughs> Without transportation, they're as good as dead. You think so? But they will survive. If Joan's all right. Looks like you're as good as dead. Going after those horses. I'll take the camels. I don't need camels. But indeed. No camels. No camels. What have you got against camels? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! That miserable little diary of yours. Hey! That goose-stepping morons like yourself should try reading books instead of burning them. Yeah. Five camels! Can't you count? Compensation for my brother-in-law's car. <laughs> Where's my father? In the tank. They have them. In the tank that's a way to come for you right now. Yeah. <laughs> the tanks are maybe big, but they're very slow. Did that go right through him? There was a man in there. That, that'll just shoot the rock out, won't it? <laughs> I thought I would have just shot the rock out. Whoa. Oh, he's got a knife, he's got a knife. I don't like that. <laughs> Shoot him! Shoot him! Do it! Ow! Ow! Wait, who's holding the gun? The pen is mightier than the sword. <laughs> Do you not have a knife? Did he just get shot up the ass and it went right up through his head? You call this archaeology? <laughs> the fun kind. Oh, you're going right off that cliff. How does one get off this thing? <laughs> Like that. <laughs> He's behind you. Okay, it's just Indy now. We're all good. Don't look, just jump. Ah, -ha! that was amazing. Yeah, he'll use his whip. He'll be hanging on by his whip somewhere. See? He's right there. Oh, that lost boy. My stomach's sore from laughing. Okay, I think we can definitely trust Marcus. Canyon of the Crescent Moon. Oh yeah, we still have to find the Holy Grail. I wasn't even thinking about that. You have three booby traps to get past. I'll help you. That is not the sound a head would make. That was a bowling ball. <laughs> thing after another. I never expected to see you again. I'm like a bad penny. I always turn up. Oh, what did I hear yesterday? Like a turd that won't, f that just won't flush. 
<laughs> like a turd that just won't flush. <laughs> Shooting me won't get you anywhere. You know something, Dr. Jones? You're absolutely right. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Dad. Dad. Oh, you... The healing power of the Grail is the only thing that can save your father now. It's time to ask yourself what you believe. What an ass wipe. Go on then, go get it and save your dad. Penitent man will pass. Penitent man will pass. What does that mean? What does that word mean? Is he saying penitent? It's humble. Humble before God. Knees before God. Kneel. Kneel. Yes. I got it. I told you I could help. The name of God. The name of God. What's his name? Jehovah. Jehovah? That's God's name. Is it Jehovah? Jehovah begins with an I. What? H what? Jehovah begins with an I. H O G. <gasps> oh, he's through, he's through. One more and you've got it. A leap of faith. What? Believe, boy. You must believe. Nobody can believe that. <gasps> Are you? <gasps> oh! What? Oh, what? And you can't see it. Oh, God, yeah, that's so cool. That's pretty amazing. I would have like went down and felt it with my hands to see if there was anything there. And that would have also worked. There's someone there. He's alive. Yeah. How long have you been in there for? Who swore an oath to find the grail and to guard it. It was 700 years ago. No time to wait. <gasps> 700 years. Choose wisely, for as the true grail will bring you life, the false grail will take it from you. Oh, how the hell do you know which one? Let me choose. Thank you, Doctor. She won't know. She'll guess wrong. It's more beautiful than I'd ever imagined. She's wrong. It's not it. Eternal life. Death. Death is coming in three, two, one. Now. Dead. Three, two, one. Dead. Three, two, one. Dead. <laughs> Yay! She knew. She knew she was picking the wrong one. That was so cool. That's the cup of a carpenter. Carpenter. Wood. It'll be wooden. There's only one way to find out. That's not me, the wood. I thought you just said carpenter. Well, that was a massive gulp he took. You have chosen wisely. Ooh. Grail cannot pass beyond the great seal price of immortality. Oh, you have to stay there. Oh, I thought you had to stay in that little hole. <laughs> How quickly will it heal him? Oh, very quickly. What? What? <gasps> That's amazing. So how did he know it was that one? Because it was the plainest one. It was, and it looks old and scabby compared to the other ones. It's ours, Indy. Yours and mine. Elsa, don't cry. I don't think you're allowed to take it. <laughs> it's like the cave in Aladdin. They're all going to get trapped. <laughs> oh, it fell down the hole. I can reach it. You're going to fall. Give me your hand. Give me your other hand. She looks like a crazy lady. She kind of deserved it. I can't hold on. Grab it and put it back. I, it. I can almost reach it. Grab it and put it back. Indiana. Or just leave it. Indiana. Oh, he's calling you. He's by your real name. Let it go. 
And that's coming from the man that was obsessed with it. Does that mean he gets to leave now? Seven hundred years and all you've got is holy water. At least you could play games with the cups. That's his name. Henry Jones Jr. Like Indiana. We named the dog Indiana. <laughs> the dog was called Indiana. You are named what? after the dog. <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of fond memories of that dog. So his name's Henry Henry Jones Jr. Henry, follow me! Out of the way! <laughs> Got lost in his own museum, huh? <laughs> I did wonder, because it's a strange name to call someone, Indiana. <laughs> oh, that was so, so, so the best movie ever. I loved it. Riding off into the sunset, happy ever after. Okay, well, this movie has taught me at least one thing, that the word crusade is not what I thought it meant, because I thought it meant adventures, and it does not mean that, because they were speaking about it in the movie. So I guess a crusade is like when people were looking for the Holy Grail before? I don't know, I'm gonna have to Google it. That, it doesn't mean adventures. <laughs> <laughs> And then here's me in the intro like, yeah, I know there's going to be more crusades. There's no more crusades, I guess. That was happened a long time ago. If someone wants to tell me what a crusade is specifically, then go ahead because obviously I need educated. I'm pretty, pretty sure that one was my favourite. Was it the first one? It was the first one or this one? Maybe this one because Sean Connery and, oh, and they were so, so cute together. Why is the, I, the only thing that would have made it better is if the girl from the first one was in this one. He needs to stop kissing random ladies because it always gets him in trouble. Oh, and then the boy, the little boy from the second one, if he was in this one. Yeah, see, I don't know now. This one was amazing. Was it my favourite? Oh, I'm going to have to pick. I'm going to have to say it was my favourite. No, because I really like the little boy. <laughs> God damn it, I don't know. All three of them, there were all three. I just love Indiana Jones's movies. How did he know that that was the Holy Grail? Was it because it was like, not as fancy as the other ones and it was old and scabby? But I thought he said something about a carpenter, so I thought he was gonna pick up like a wooden one. Did I see that in the Monty Python Holy Grail? I don't, I don't remember it. I don't remember that movie. I watched it like three, was it three years ago or two or three? I don't remember it. I'm gonna have to watch it again. Can we travel in a blimp? And how many people can you get in a blimp? And is it cooler than traveling in an airplane? And how possible is it? Like, can you do it on like every day or no? Are they safe? I think they would be pretty slow, but if you crashed, it would just, Wait, they're not, it's not like an inflatable, is it? <laughs> I thought if it crashed, it would just bounce, but I don't think that would happen. I'm so, so happy that we got to see Indy's and his dad's relationship, because that was just the best. And I can't believe that he was actually named after a dog. And his real name, what is it, Henry or Harry? Henry Jr. Henry Jones Jr. <laughs> I thought his dad was just being an ass calling him Jr. all the time. But that's his real name. He just changed it to a dog's name. But even that's like best thing ever. I think a lot of you guys have said to only watch this three. But you know I'm going to have to watch them all because I really want to see the new new one. And I can't just jump to the new one after seeing only three, can I? Nah. I'm gonna have to do it properly. Okay, I don't have to tell you to like and subscribe because you did that at the beginning. That's why we're still alive now. So you've already done that, so good. But you could check out Patreon if you want to because there's lots of stuff happening on there. And I think that's it from me today. We saved the planet. We saved the world, so we're good. But you know, if you still want to like and subscribe, then you should do that. But I know you have already. But you know, if you haven't already, then <laughs> still do that. And that's it. I've got to go. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.